Most of my own field recorders have internal battery powering using AA size batteries. While readily available, neither alkaline nor nickel metal hydride chemistries provide a particularly long recording time. In the case of my Roland R26, four hours is more like the upper limit from its four AA batteries and the eight channel zoom F8N with its eight AA's barely provides an hour's recording. The Zoom F6, my latest acquisition, addresses the problem very elegantly. Not only does its internal battery pack only require four AA's, it makes provision for connecting a battery of the Sony NPF style. I've found that a battery in the NPF 750 class, having four 18650 lithium ion cells, will keep the F6 recording for some seven hours. Also, when the external battery is exhausted, Operation continues on the internal pack without interrupting any ongoing recording. The external battery may therefore be hot swapped if it's imperative that a recording not be interrupted. Taking this as inspiration, I first looked at implementing NPF powering on my Roland R26 recorder. I chose to use the small rig 3018 battery adapter which carries an NPF battery and steps up its native 7.4 volts to 12 volts. I 3D printed a plate to attach the adapter and its battery to the recorder. This screwed into the tripod socket on the back of the R26 and still allowed the recorder to be tripod or mic stand mounted. As soon as the battery is installed into the adapter plate, its charge light comes on, which means that the adapter plate's electronics is running all the time, so even if the recorder itself is switched off, the battery will still be draining to some extent. The 12 volt output from the adapter plate is then fed into the DC input of the recorder, which can accept voltages between 9 and 16 volts. And here we're demonstrating the handover between the external power supply and the internal power supply without affecting the recording that's currently in progress. Trials with the smallest of the NPF series, the two cell NPF 550 style, gave excellent recording duration of over 11 hours, which is far more than is needed for a day's recording. For some reason on this light version of the 3018 adapter plate, the fit of the battery is actually quite tight, so hot swapping of an external battery could be a little bit fraught. I then looked at my Zoom F8N. This has a much heavier power drain, so I had to pair the small rig adapter with a 6 cell NPF970 style battery. I made up an aluminium cantilever bracket to hold the battery adapter and battery and fed its 12 volt output to the F8N's Hiroshi or Hiros external DC input jack. This proved again quite successful, although the additional drain of this recorder meant that even with the NPF 970's high energy capacity, the total recording time was only about 5 hours. However, the internal AA batteries still provided a good buffer while swapping external batteries. In my first test, designed to put the greatest strain on the F8N, I set the machine to record simultaneously onto both SD cards at 24-bit 48kHz with full phantom power on each channel. I loaded the phantom supply down with a sync on each microphone channel. For a more detailed analysis of battery drain, I intercepted the battery current going into the adapter plate. These are the results. With the worst case load, i.e. 8 channel recording, the NPF battery had to supply 1.2 amps. Recording on fewer channels used slightly less current. Changing the sample rate to 96 kHz didn't seem to increase the current drain. It's worth comparing that figure with the R26 when the same measurements were made on that recorder in two-channel analog input mode with loaded phantom power, the battery only had to supply 0.3 amps. And here are the practical results. There was no point using the smaller NPF style battery 
So I did measurements with the medium size 770 and the larger 970 style batteries. Neither battery provided its full claimed power capacity. However, the medium sized battery gave approximately three and a half hours recording and the larger battery approximately five hours, which are quite usable durations. My conclusions are, firstly, that the MPF batteries provide a suitable solution for long duration external battery power for both the R26 and F8N recorders. Secondly, it is essential to have the buffer of an internal battery pack. The discharge ramp of the internal pack is detected by the recorder, allowing it to shut down gracefully before battery power fails completely. By contrast, when the external adapter power fails, it does so abruptly, and without any internal backup supply, the recorder has no time to close active files, leading to the potential for data corruption. And thirdly, the inverter circuitry in the older 3018 model small rig adapter plates runs continuously as long as a battery is connected. This requires the battery to be removed when the recorder is not being used to avoid running the batteries flat. It's worth noting that the newer small rig 3168 adapter does have a power off function and also provides an additional USB-C power output. So that's probably the best buy for the future. I hope you found this video useful.